My name is Marcus McCartney. I'm the OSU Extension Agent here for Washington County and welcome back to our quarantine gardening series. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite plants to grow and eat. Alistair, what has eyes and cannot see? Potato. Very good, a potato. That is right. Gavin, potatoes grow in the ground, so are they a root? No. In a Very good. Potatoes are not roots. Actually, potatoes are an enlarged, thick and stolen that's used as a storage organ that we call tubers. So that's really a stem tuber and not a root. And also, we talked about the eyes of potatoes. It's not for a true eye. What the eye actually is, is a bud, bud tissue. And that's going to grow into our shoots, which will pop up above the ground and will be our green foliage and have a nice purple flower, usually. And that will be what we see. So it is a stem tuber and not a root. So when we plant potatoes, we don't plant them from seed. Okay, we do something we call seed potatoes. And typically you buy seed potatoes at our garden centers. For example, Bob's Market or Greenleaf. I know Bob's Market are getting a new shipment of Snowden potatoes. These are the same potatoes that Mr. B uses for their potato chips. So they will be getting a shipment in tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so that's what we want to plant is uh, seed potatoes. And we do not use potatoes that we get from the grocery store because sometimes those are sprayed with a chemical, maybe a dormant spray, or they may not grow as well. And we don't want to use potatoes that we had from our garden last year because they can carry over diseases. So we want to use fresh, new seed potatoes from a garden center. All right, so typically when we plant our potatoes, whether in the garden or in a container, what we're going to do today in a container, we want to make sure what we plant is probably about an inch and a quarter in diameter. A lot of times when you buy them, they will be that inch and a quarter diameter. If not, you have to cut them into smaller pieces. And when you do cut them into smaller pieces, make sure you have one of these eyes on each piece that you cut. And it's typically recommended after you do make a cut, wait for about two or three days for that cut to dry out before you do plant. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to plant, we got four buckets here and we're going to plant them real quick. Usually we want to plant them about three to five inches deep. All right, come here, Morgan. All right, Alistair, here, we're going to dig a hole. All right, Gavin, go ahead and plant yours. We're going to go about three inches deep in ours. So I got this little trowel here. It's nice. It has the inch, one, two, three, four, but I'm going to go about right down this deep, about three inches. Okay, Alistair, you want to put our potato down in here? Yeah. Right here it is. <laughs> so take it, put it down in, and, we, and if we have the little shoots on it, the buds are starting to develop, the eyes are starting to grow. Make sure we don't break those off. And then we want to cover it for about four inches of the soil. And typically, we want to get this nice and wet. But working with potting soils, but working with potting soils is always good to get your potting soil wet first. Here's a dry potting soil, here's wet potting soil. A lot more hard to work with, with dry potting soil, and it's not recommended. So always get your potting soil moistened before you put it in your container, before you grow or try to plant anything. Okay, so you get yours planted in there, Alistair? Yep, Gavin already got his planted. Very good. Gavin, so if I was gonna plant this in a garden, not in a bucket, how far apart should my plants be? I'm not being paid enough. That's right, about 10 to 12 inches apart. Then we want our rows to be about 30 to 36 inches apart. So in row, about 10 to 12 inches apart, rows about 30 to 36 inches apart. Okay, so we got our potato planted. We got it cut up. We know where we get our seeds from. When During the season, we want to make sure that these do not dry out. So come out here and constantly monitor your moisture level. You know, in a garden situation, you may be watering once or twice a week. Here, we might be watering more because the buckets dry out a little bit faster. So it's important we have that water in here. And remember, we need our holes in the bottom for drainage of our containers. All right, weeding. Typically, we won't have any weeds in a container. Don't have to worry about that. But in a garden situation, if you're going to do weeding, do a little bit of light hoeing. Do not get down too deep with the hoeing uh, because you might hit some of the tubers that will be growing. Okay, as well, insects. A couple common insects is the Colorado potato beetle and flea beetles that you may see on the foliage. Colorado, Colorado potato beetle, it's a bigger fat bug. If you see it, 
and then you have it in your container, I would even spray a chemical on it. I would just hand squash them. Then you come through and pick them and have your kids pick them. Alistair, is it fun to pick bugs and squash them? Yes, it is fun to pick bugs and squash them. Okay, and the, and the flea beetles are just these little tiny black beetles. They get the name flea beetles because they do kind of hop around a little bit when you kind of try to mess with them you see them. You just squash them as well. That's what I would do. All right, so that's a couple of common insects. Last thing we want to talk about is harvesting our potatoes. So, Gavin, when do we harvest the potatoes? Very good, Gavin, that's right. So typically we harvest potatoes we, in about the first seven to eight weeks. So after our plant is about seven to eight weeks later, we can start harvesting them. Of course, they won't be as big, but they're gonna be nice and tender. And I really do like them when they're, when they're at that stage. Or we wait till the end of the season, you know, when the plant may start to dry out, we get these bigger potatoes, and it might be good for a baked potato, you know, or, uh, you, you know, whatever you want to use your potato for. Make french fries out of them or potato chips, okay? So typically about six to eight weeks, seven to eight weeks, you can start harvesting the potatoes. With that, that is our container garden for our potatoes. I'm looking forward to seeing this shoot up. Nice green, dark foliage, and these will have a nice, beautiful purple flower with a yellow center. Very beautiful.